In part A then we're given that x cubed minus 4y squared equals 12xy and asked to find y, or the coordinates I should say, when x is minus 8. So we would say when x equals minus 8 and we just substitute it into the equation here. So we'd have minus 8 all cubed minus 4 times y squared equals 12 times minus 8 times the y. Cleaning this up, minus 8 cubed is minus 512. Then we'd have minus 4y squared equals minus 96y. We'd rearrange this. We've got a quadratic equation looming up, so I'd want to get the y squared term as positive. So if I add 4y squared and add 512 to both sides, I would have 4y squared then minus 96y plus 512 equals 0. I notice that 4 divides into each of the terms, so I could divide through by 4, and if I do that I get y squared, 4's into minus 96 is minus 24y, and 4's into 512 is plus 128, and obviously 4's into 0 is 0. This factorises, so we have a couple of brackets, equals 0, we have a y, and a y. And then by looking at this you can see that it's minus 8 and minus 16. If you struggle obviously in trying to factorize this you could use the quadratic formula and uh, that will get you the same results. Those results being that either y minus 8 equals 0 leading to y equals 8 or you have y minus 16 equals 0 leading to y equals 16. So we have the y coordinates that correspond to x equals minus 8. Remember it did ask for the coordinates so I feel that you ought to summarize by saying therefore the coordinates are and we have a pair of them that's minus 8 when x is minus 8 y equals 8 and we have also when x is minus 8, y is 16. So there are coordinates when x is minus 8 and that brings us to the end of part A.